the taste of magic, the aroma of alchemy, the crunchy textures of ethereal forces that defy explanation? Well then, this segment is for you. It's time for Piggy's Potion Challenge! With our guest host, Twilight Sparkle! Hi everyone, let that challenge begin! Piggy, it's not really a challenge. You're just helping me figure out what these different potions are. I never got a chance to label them. And what a challenge it is! Gummy is at the edge of his seat! I'm going to help by drinking them! Are you sure it's a... It's a great idea! What do you think? Should I drink this? Okay, but just a little bit. You don't have to drink the whole thing! Wow! <laughs> You're all so tiny! My voice sounds so awesome! This potion tastes like chocolate. Try this one. Wow! You're so tall, Twilight! Oh, and your voice is so high! Wah, wah, wah. That tastes like this. Why don't we take a break? No time for breaks at the potion buffet! There are more to try! I love this challenge! Oh, that tasted like peanut butter! and bubble gum. That tasted like vanilla. <laughs> and popcorn. Um, Twilight? Well, that's the end of Piggy's Potion Challenge. I'm gonna go get her. Gummy, you're in charge. <laughs> Keep living that pony life. about the color pink. And you guessed it, pie. <laughs> and just like sweet and wonderful pies, we have a sweet and wonderful friend joining us on our show today. Want to give the audience a hint, Gummy? <laughs> That's right, fillies and gentle coats. I give you the princess of friendship, Equestria and Books. The one with the hearts, the smarts, and the belly full of French fries! <laughs> Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> Hi, everypony. It's great to be here. I'm excited to be teaching a friendship class for all of you today. <laughs> you aren't teaching a friendship lesson, silly. Oh, what are we doing then? Get ready for... of Twilight's knowledge of the ponies in Equestria. We will show her different ponies' silhouettes. Twilight has to guess which pony is which. If she gets it wrong, she gets a pie in the face. And pies are delicious, so it's a win-win either way. Wait, what? Let's start the game. Name that pony. Easy, Big Mac. OK, OK. Can you name this one? Trick question. That is not a pony. That is Spike. Right again. Okay, this one's tricky. Oh dear. It's either Flim or Flam. I can never remember which one has a mustache. Um, Flam? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer is incorrect. <laughs> Here, have a pie. Try again. Fine. Flim? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer also incorrect. Here, have another pie. Oof. Who is it? It's Trixie with Flam's hat! See? Told you it was tricky. Wait a second. Oh, would you look at the time? That's our show. A huge thank you to Twilight. Put your hooves together for her, everybody. Good night, everybody, and keep living that pony life. Mm. Blueberry. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. To hello, Pinkie Pie! This is my super duper fantastically awesome show where we cover all sorts of fun topics like What is the best jelly bean flavor to feed a hummingbird? 
Or how to turn mashed potatoes into the comfiest pillow. Or how many rainbows can fit into Gummy's mouth. The answer is a lot of rainbows. This is an extra spectacular show because it's our show. <clears throat> a lot has happened here in Equestria. King Sombra destroyed the elements of harmony. Then we defeated King Sombra, then we defeated Queen Chrysalis and Lord T-Rex and Cozy Glow and Grogar. But technically we didn't defeat Grogar because he was Discord. Dun dun dun! Never saw that coming. Anyways, all of our friends helped us save every pony from the Windigos by pulling together and it was super duper magical. Then Princess Celestia and Princess Luna retired and now Twilight is leading Equestria. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. oh, and do you know what the best part was? I got to test out Discord's Chaos Magic and I made chocolate rain. The most delicious rain in all of Equestria. <sighs> it was super delicious. I need to ask him for the recipe. Anyway, we got an amazing show planned for you today. And to start it off, let's take a look at Gummy's outfit of the day. Gummy! Gummy is wearing the classic clown wig, accentuating his jawline, and big red shoes, and an orange jumpsuit, showing off his beautiful skin color. What better way to celebrate the new year than with this celebratory look? And boy, does he pull it off. Look at how excited he is. Guess what, Pony? He's single. I personally like the classic party hat. The more of them you wear, the more celebrated you look. And the best look in the world is the one you wear when you're having a party! <laughs> we have a lot to celebrate as we close out the year. And now it's time for the Ultra 5 Best Moments from This Last Year! <laughs> Warning! Spoilers ahead! Spoilers are like surprises you didn't ask for, but surprises are also spoilers you didn't ask for. So, guess what? Spoilers ahead! <laughs> Isn't that great? Let's get this Ultra 5 Best Moments from the Last Year started! Moment number five, frenemies. Sure, they were not the nicest, but they started to find friendship in each other. I just love how Cozy Glow Lord T-Rex and Queen Chrysalis all worked together. They even sang a song together. BFFs in the making. Wish they could have made it work. Oh well. Moment number four, the last crusade. This next one is a tearjerker. Oh, 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 I love this part. The whole town comes together to celebrate the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Best party ever! I will not cry. I will not cry. Oh, I'm too late, I'm crying. It's so beautiful. Let's do a less emotional moment. <clears throat> moment number three, the last laugh. Who doesn't love spending a day with Cheese Sandwich? I was so excited when Cheese Sandwich got his laugh back. He's so talented and so funny. Ah! <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> He's hilarious. Gets me every time. Moment number two, the Big Mac question. Are they the perfect pair? <laughs> pair? Oh, oh, look, Applejack got all choked up. AJ, you big softy. And those singing apples really tied in the whole apple wedding thing. I'll have to ask Discord if I can borrow them for my next party. Now, the moment you have all been waiting for. What moment got the top spot for this year? Introducing moment number one. The ending of the end part two. Let's take a look. Oh, I love this part. Starlight Glimmer did a great job protecting the school of friendship. Oh, oh. Part where we all work together to stop Lord T-Rex, Cozy Glow, and Queen Chrysalis. Oh, and this part where I got to make chocolate rain. Oh, and this is when we all ate donuts together. Nothing like a tasty treat to bring every pony together. That was beautiful. Lots of great adventures and magical moments have happened this year. So many friendships, so many parties, and so much productivity. Isn't that right, Gummy? Oh, Gummy, you're right. It's time to ring in the new year. Those are so sparkly. Let me try. Oh, this is great. Uh, I think they're singeing my mane. Yep, better take care of these. Stay tuned for our next episode. Who wore it best, flim or flam? Until next time, Happy New Year, everybody!
creator, a creator, a beat generator, the lemon cola of rock and roll gummy! We've got a really fun show planned for tonight. Mr. Waffles is... We've got a really fun show planned for... <laughs> Box. Now, reveal your secrets! <laughs> Gummy, can you hear that? Gummy this. Gummy! Gummy! Did you see this? <laughs> Stick around for Joke of the Day, where we're going to find out what did the rainbow say to the mustache? It's not what you think. We'll be right back. And here to subscribe for new videos every day. Hello, and welcome back to our Valentine's Day special. Did I say that right? Valentine's Day! Guys, for those of you who live outside of Equestria, Valentine's Day is celebrated in different ways around the world. In the United States, Valentine's Day is the time of year when you declare your love with chocolates and flowers. In China, people celebrate Valentine's Day by visiting the temple of the matchmaker, and some provinces decorate an ox horn for good luck. In Wales, Valentine's Day is called Twin Wins Day, in which humans give each other hand-carved wooden spoons called love spoons. In Brazil, people celebrate Dia dos Namorados, or Lover's Day, a huge festival to celebrate love and friendship in the form of a big party. I love parties! We celebrate something special in Equestria called Hearts and Hooves Day, a day for ponies to show their loved ones how much they mean to each other with cards and gifts. So in honor of Valentine's Day, Dia dos Namorados, and Twin Wins Day, I'm going to make something for a very special Sundummy. It's time for Craft Corner. I need the sign. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to craft a personalized card for my Valentine. For this, you'll need a few simple tools. First, you cut a heart shape out of a piece of card, like so. Next, you wrap some lace around the edges like this. Oh, my heart is fluttering already. And now for a personal touch. Add a little embellishment. A dash of sweetness. A pinch of care. A generous helping of sugar. A drop of hot and the final touch of love. Happy Valentine's Day, Gummy! Oh, Gummy! Is this gift for me? Oh. <clears throat> My dearest Pink Amina, through the endless march of seasons, not the falling leaves of autumn, what nor the kind star granted that are ever yours. <laughs> Gummy! Next 
Darling, I'm thrilled to be here. I am too. Now, Rarity has been working on a super secret project. Can you tell us about it, Rarity? As a matter of fact, I can do more than that. I would love to show every pony. Let's take a look. It is the dawn of a new era. I have invented an app that will revolutionize not just my business, but the world. Introducing Rarified. You can plan new designs, help pick fabulous new wardrobes for clients, and do virtual makeovers for any pony. Rarified does it all. Now for my favorite part. Let's give a makeover. First, the eyes. Bigger. And of course, one must have long, lustrous eyelashes to bat one's eyes with. Then, a few hoop embellishments. Let's adjust the braid. Oh, Rarity, your mini you look so cute and mini. Let's add a bit of volume to her mane. And voila, new look. She's so precious, I love it. Thank you. I made one for each of us. We look adorable. <laughs> <laughs> for our next book, why don't we add in a little bit of this, oh, and some of this, and some of this. Pony be able to use rarefied. Oh, my. As soon as I make it Pinkie Pie proof. <laughs> Good luck with that, Rarity. Stay tuned to see Rarity perform a 20 foot drop into a vat of pudding. Uh, I'm not doing Keep that. Keep living that pony life. when you're stuck inside all day. But there are so many ways to bring home the fun. Create a masterpiece. Practice yoga. Uh, a little help, please. Check in on a loved one. Yummy! My day was really exciting. Well, you were there too, of course, and we did some yoga. And you combed out my mane. I wonder what happened to that brush. We did black flips, and then we did another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip. Hello, everypony, and welcome back to Hello Pinky Pie. Pinky Pie! This show is all about having fun and answering the hard questions of life. What do sheep count when they can't sleep? If a cow laughed really hard, would milk come out of her nose? And most importantly, how do you know when it's time to tune bagpipes? Yes, it needs tuning. We have a great show today. And now it's time for Gummy's Joke of the Day. <laughs> great one, Gummy. Almost as good as Mud's jokes. And now it's time for some amazing life hacks. With me, teaching you some cool shortcuts on how to do, well, life. <laughs> now let's get life hacking. Today, Gummy and I are going to show you how to get scratches off a table. You need a bowl of nuts, walnuts. I think it's because they help cover wall scratches. That's why they're called walnuts. <laughs> So they probably work on tables, too. Step number one, chew up the walnuts. Step two, spread them out. Step three, use your hooves and stomp them into paste. 
Oh, and you will need goggles for this part. Step four. Take the paste and smoosh it all over the table scratches, like paint. Step five. Add some glitter to give the table some pizzazz. Step six. Sparkly. And for the very last and most funnest of steps, <laughs> use a super duper big fan to dry the glitter and walnut paste. <laughs> that was a breeze. Now you can't see the scratches. Who knew that walnuts were so magical? How did yours turn out, Gummy? Wow! Way to go, Gummy. It's beautiful. You'll have to show me your secret next time. What does every pony think? How did the table turn out? I think the after table has personality. Stay tuned for our next episode where Gummy shows us how to make a cupcake catapult. Mm. <laughs> Have a great night, everypony! <laughs> 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 <laughs>